First time here in Latvia. T Studio Talks. So what we can expect here in Riga? Set like Berkheim. CDJs. You played with CDs? Vinyl and CDs. Only CDs. CDs, USB. Only USB. Cassette. Close to the old vinyl feeling. Makes sense. Guten Tag. My name is Jonathan Kasper and this is uh, T Studio Talks. <laughs> Hi, my name is Waltz and you are watching T Studio Talks. My next guest is from not only one guest, but uh, two guests from Germany, from uh, Compact Agency, Booking, a yeah, booking agency. Robert Groom, hi, and Jonathan Kasper, hi. Hi. So I think uh, for you it's first time here in Latvia. I think so, yes. Mm -hmm. And f first experience, weather, people, streets. I had my Zen classes off, so ah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It, it was just too short ah. the way from the airport to the hotel, and yeah. But what I saw, it was nice. Yeah. Super. And Jonathan, you told me that you have played already in Riga some three years ago or more. Yeah, I think uh, I checked it in the phone. It was 2017, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Close to the sea. So I, I remember a bit, but not too much. So tell me maybe each how you get to compact records assigned as a booking agency. For example, there is kind of you are friends with uh, Mayer or... How, how it all goes, yeah. Oh, actually, this is so many years ago, I can't remember exactly, but uh, I am a part of Compact oh. Oh. Uh, since since many, many years. So that's why when we found our label in uh, in the east part of Germany, we went to Compact for distribution. And uh, yeah, since that time, I'm a part of it. So that's how it was. Oh, okay. And Jonathan, you signed uh, some... For me, it's a bit more fresh because I, uh, I'm i not so long part of the family like Robak. Uh, I had my first record with Compact in 2016, but a sub-label, KX. And um, then from then I started to send out demos to Michael Meyer, who is the r and and one of the main bosses. And then I had the first release with the real mothership of Compact in 2019 and then I also become a member of the booking agency, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. And I'm also from Cologne, so it's quite close. Makes sense. I think you are the guy who started to DJ when it still was the CDJs. You played with CDs at that time? I, or no, no, I started with vinyl, with vinyl as well. Oh, vinyl. Yeah. So vinyl, CDs, uh, USB? Vinyl, vinyl and CDs, only CDs, CDs, USB, only USB. <laughs> and what will be next? I hope I hope it will stop because for me this is now the system which is more or less close to the old vinyl feeling but when I don't bring anything to the club with me it's weird now the, with the stick is at least something yeah. I have to bring so a lot of people tell me it's nice to bring their music on the phone but for me that would not be cool I want to put something in the CDJs at least yeah because um, <coughs> Compact is releasing a lot of music on vinyl so did you also play it on vinyl for some time? Or? Yes, of course. I mean, when I when I started my career almost 30 years ago, there was just vinyl as uh, as medium to play music. I mean, cassette at the, at the, <laughs> at the beginning and the real beginning, but uh, yeah, vinyl. Okay. So what we can expect here in Riga, many of my friends are asking what kind of music this is. This is not touch, this is not house, this is not minimal, this is kind of me uh, melodic techno. Can you describe more, for example, your sound on DJ sets? And then Jonathan can comment. Oh, this is this is actually a really weird question because uh, I'm not so into all these genre, genres. Uh, I'm more to say uh, I play electronic dance music. Yeah. So that can be mean so many things because I never know how the energy is on the dance floor and I decide to go with the energy of the dance floor and then it's, maybe it will be a really hot banging techno yeah. set like Berghain, but just yeah. in Riga, or really melodic uh, set. So I don't know. So let's see. I'm excited.
your EP is also changing for as I know some bits are more afro kind of and sweeter and big and others are like crazy so how you produce this music you influenced by weather by your personal taste or feeling how it all goes I think in the end it's personal taste and the main thing is it, it changes every day more or less of course there are elements that I love from when I started making music or playing music out and in the beginning like you said my tracks were more like with more percussive I would say and nowadays uh, I reduce the tracks a lot less stems less is more for me at the moment but I don't know where it takes me in the next months and that's what makes it exciting for me just like somehow keeping it fresh for me yeah so I saw Roboga is um, playing in America then back to Europe and so on and you also have like three gigs like in Riga then festival and so on and so on how it is to be a DJ who is traveling so much playing so many different countries what is the best part and what is the the worst part of it yeah I mean still the worst part is traveling for me for my own uh, but after two and a half years pandemic so it, there's no point to to uh, yeah to say something uh, weird so that's why it's just part of it and it's always good to to play at the end in a club in a in a packed club with yeah. a with a good energy so that's the most important thing and all the stuff in between yeah, is part of it but yeah you, you need to sacrifice something to earn for example right now these two years there's a covid time pandemic eh? so you don't kind of feel this energy from the people but yeah right now okay thanks and for you Jonathan what is the best part for it <laughs> best part obviously <laughs> is playing music meeting new people seeing new countries yeah. eating new food I love <laughs> food um, and the worst part is of course is traveling and Sleep. for me actually also to be alone because um, most of the time you're alone mm -hmm. And it's also like a big difference always when you play a club or like Robert said, a packed club and it's a good energy and then you go home alone and you're in the quiet uh, hotel room. It's, it's of course, it's a big difference. So yeah. that's sometimes things we have to deal with, but in the end, it's everything is worth it. We love it. So yeah, I have heard about this one. Some DJs are telling you should be for 15 or 20 years as a DJ and producer and be on many after parties and so, on and so on to really understand the industry. So maybe you have a comment about this one. Do you really think that professional DJ can be only after 15 years or he can be after one or two years? Uh, for me, I think, uh, of course, experience and experience different stages and meeting people and everything helps. But I think uh, it depends, it's different for everybody. So there can be like super pros growing up into two years because they see and meet everything during these two years mm. uh, and you no know, it's I think you cannot like really say you have to done this and this and this then you're, you're a professional DJ that's not from my point of view that's not like this no about the upcoming music from Robag do you have like plan already or you already know how many releases do you will have this year I never had a plan in all ah. these years I never had a plan but we can expect new IPs or album maybe? No, no album at, the, at this moment. So ah. because uh, actually I did two in the last four years, which is a lot. And uh, now there is a new Spice, uh, Speicher upcoming in November. Oh. And I'm working on the new Pampa as well. So, but let's see. I mean, there's a lot of work ahead. And for you, Jonathan, I heard some new remixes there for Acid Pauli and yeah, Acid Pauli was just released at the beginning this year. Um, I have a, my third compact EP in late July and uh, an EP with Crosstown Rebels in late summer. And also I did a, quite a lot of remixes, but yeah, it's a lot of music coming out today. A lot of stuff I worked on during the pandemic, so slowly it will see the light. Okay, super guys, thanks for coming uh, to T-Studio to make this interview. Uh, let's go and jump to the club because you have both uh, good sets here in Riga right now. We will put also the links to so you can follow uh, these guys on social media. And also, thanks for watching T-Studio YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye.
mums ir daudz dažādi citu video, šeit, šeit, te apakšā skaties, ļoti daudz dažādi Latvijā pazīstami cilvēki. Seko mums Instagramā, nāc uz veikalu, Firsa Sadoņiko Vielā 21, un tiekamies jau nākošajos video. Paldies tev!